Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? It is D Man coming back at it again with another YouTube video. And today we've got gameplay on the big man himself, Big Jeff, Jeffrey Simmons. So let's go ahead, let's hop into the lineup, and let's check out the team. Now, if you guys want a more in depth perspective of my team, I do a pretty deep lineup update every single theme team uh, video. So, like, if you got, like, I'm going to briefly go over the team. Like, you know, there's the offense. I'm not going to go over everyone. If you guys want a more deep intel on, on you know, the team, I do, an, like, a, a quick little lineup update at the beginning of every theme team episode. So if you guys want to, you know, a deep intel look on the team, go ahead and check out those videos. Uh, but for the gameplay video and, uh, you know, for the, for the gameplay sake itself, we're going to go ahead and just briefly go over the team. Uh... And, yeah, I mean, there's the offense. Um, here's the defense. We're going to mainly prioritize Jeffrey Simmons here. Now, I went ahead and threw inside stuff on him. I had inside stuff on our Hainsworth. Uh, but for the gameplay sake, I'm going to go ahead and throw it on at Jeffrey Simmons. So, Jeffrey Simmons here, he looks really good, guys. He looks really good. I'm glad he got an upgrade. He's, you know, much deserved upgrade. He's got 97 overall on the team, obviously. He's a 94. He got the power up, too, as well. So, we powered him up to 95. Uh, and he's a 97 on the theme team. He's got 87 speed, 91 excel, 92 strength, 99 tackling, 97 play rec. He's got 95 block shed, 95 power move, and 85 finesse move. So obviously, if you guys, um, I'm not sure. I don't think I know anyone that runs, um, that, or I should, I should say that doesn't run lockdown. I think most of my friends um, and a lot of people uh, that play Madden online, I see, you know, pretty much everyone runs lockdown. But if you guys, you know, put run stuff or pass rush on him i think he he gets like i think run stuff gets him to 99 block shed and, and 99 power move if i'm not mistaken um there's block shed there maybe just gets up to 99 block shed on on run stuff uh but maybe pass rush gets him up yeah power move and finesse move both to go up so you can put pass rush on him Make sure you have it 40 out of 40, uh, and he'll get 99, uh, you know, power move there, or he can get 99 block shed if you go run stuff. But, you know, I'm sticking with lockdown. I think it's the best, you know, defensive chemistry in the game right now. I mean, you can't beat it. Definitely for your safeties and corners, you want the coverage, uh, and you'll also get tackling too, so that helps out your, uh, you know, your defensive line, and it helps out your linebackers too. Uh, and especially if you got, you know, zone, you know, you got coverage linebackers out there, it helps them out too. So I think, you know, lockdown's the best chemistry right now on defense in the game uh but going over some more stats uh 94 awareness 93 stamina nothing much you know nothing special there he's got 96 impact blocking though which is very nice um yeah and i think that's really about it for jeffrey i mean he, he's he's a monster i've played a couple games with him he did you know we did play with him um on saturday in the you know the titans theme team episode uh but we didn't have him with you know inside stuff so we'll have to see how that plays out uh, so hopefully he just gets into block sheds on inside, uh, you know, inside a run. So yeah, there's Jeffrey Simmons. Let's go ahead and back out. Check out the defense one last time before we hop into the video. And there's the defense. I think one of the best defenses in the game right now. Now, the reason I have Jayon Brown, a lot of you guys, you know, question me about this. I've got Jayon Brown in over Avery Williamson. Um, not because Jayon's faster, but because he gets mid-zone KO. Now, he's a field general, and I believe Avery is a run stopper, if I'm not mistaken. So, Jayon Brown gets mid-zone KO. Not only does he get mid-zone KO, he gets it for 1 AP. So, that's why I have Jayon Brown at mid linebacker 2. I obviously could put Avery here uh, and Jayon here and then put the state, uh, keep the ability on him and sub him in. Uh, but, I mean, I've already, you know, I put Avery here, and we're still 93 and we're still 94 defense, so I mean, there's nothing much. I'm, I'm just gonna leave it like this, so I don't have to worry about subs when I get into the game. Uh, but yeah, that's why we have Jay on there. Uh, hopefully, he gets. You know, I don't. You know, he's hurt for the rest of the year, so I don't expect him to get an upgrade. Uh, but you know, the Titans were ASC South champs, so obviously we're gonna be getting some pretty big upgrades in the playoff promo. Um, I'll go over a couple. I think I think we could get. Um, let's think here. Uh, I think Rashawn Evans gets an upgrade. He might get a lower overall, uh, but I don't think he'll be the master. Maybe like a mid-tier card in the set. Uh, obviously, Kevin Byard was the card last year we got. He obviously will not get it. He's got a 94 overall card right now. Or I should say 93 powered up to 94. 
quarterbacks, I would absolutely love a master Malcolm Butler. I think he's been playing great all year. I think he leads the team in interceptions, uh, and he leads the team in tackles. So I think Malcolm Butler deserves a playoff, maybe even master card. I could see him getting a high set piece, maybe like a 93 overall. Uh, but I could also see him getting a 96 overall, uh, which I think that would be com really awesome, uh, especially with our cornerback core that we have right now. We definitely, definitely need, uh, you know, an upgrade there. We also have Desmond King who could potentially get an upgrade. I could see him getting an upgrade. We also have Adore Jackson sitting in the binder who could get an upgrade. He's finally healthy back playing uh, week in and week out, so I could see him getting an upgrade. But I think Malcolm Butler is definitely the standout player uh, on defense. So those are a couple, a couple guys that could get upgrades offensively you know you would expect to get you know aj brown he's only got that 90 overall card he could get the master um now i think if it came down to malcolm or aj i would really really rather have malcolm butler because our wide receiver core right now is amazing especially once tyrone calico gets an upgrade once drew bennett gets an upgrade we'll be absolutely stacked and next series update we also get to upgrade andre johnson so there we got four five wide receivers right now that are really good um but yeah, another guy, a lot of guys were telling me Tannehill, um, and I heard a lot of guys predicting Tannehill. I think Tannehill is going to get a Team of the Week Master card, uh, and they did just go over uh, on, on you know, Good Morning Madden this morning. They did go ahead and say that they're going to be releasing Week 14 and Week 15 next Tuesday. So on January 12th, that's when they are going to be releasing uh, Week 14 and Week 15. They're splitting it up. They're going two weeks on one week and then two weeks on, on you know, two weeks from now. So next week we're getting two weeks. Week after that we're getting the last two weeks. So Tannehill had a fantastic week 15. I think he had uh, you know five total touchdowns. He had three uh, passing touchdowns. He had two on the ground. So I think he'll get the master card. He had like 145 QBR, um, which is <laughs> which is crazy, really good. So I think he'll definitely get the team of the week master card. That's why I don't think he'll get the. If he doesn't get that card for sure, definitely he'll get the playoff card. But the playoff master card, but I really do think he's going to be the team of the week master. Uh, so I'm just going to leave him out of the uh, you know uh, playoff you know promo prediction. Again, I think Roger Saffold is another guy that could get the master, um, but I would love a Malcolm Butler master. I would that would be hands down my favorite. You know, I think Malcolm Butler needs the master card. He's I feel like one of our best defensive players we have right now. Um, uh, in real life, obviously, in Madden, he's not so good. He's only got that 85 overall most fear card. I would love to see him get that 96 or 95 overall, whatever they want to do with it. Uh, but, yeah, I would love to see Malcolm Butler. But Roger Saffold, another guy getting an upgrade. I could see him getting a high, high tier card because he definitely deserves an upgrade for what he's been doing, helping the big boy out here, Derrick Henry. Um, you know, that line doesn't get credit enough. Uh, <clears throat> ben Jones, I think he needs an upgrade bad. Nate Davis needs an upgrade. Um, Quisenberry. You know, that whole offensive line has done amazing, you know, amazing job for Derrick Henry uh, on his work of getting, you know, 2,000 yards. They don't get enough credit. Uh, but, yeah, that's going to do it. I'm going to stop predicting who I think is going to be coming in the promo. Let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. Jeffrey Simmons and see what he can do today. All right, guys, I don't know what's taking so long, but we're sitting in, the lo in this loading screen, I, on this loading screen, um, and it's taking about... It's been about two minutes since we tried to start loading up the game. I'm not sure what's going on. We're in the wild card. EA, please don't rob us from a wild card game. This would be devastating. But if nothing happens here, I don't know what to do. Do I just sit here and wait? Or, I mean, I, obviously I don't want to sit here and wait. But um, I'll give it another five, ten minutes. I'm not going to be sitting here on this on this loading screen for another ten minutes. Um... I don't know. I don't know what to do because I'm scared. Obviously, if I if I go ahead and you know quit out, I think we'll we'll get an we'll take an L and we're out the playoffs. So I don't know why this is happening. This has never happened before. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I'll give it another. I'll give it another five ten minutes. If nothing happens, then um, I'll just go ahead and close the app and come back in. And hopefully, we don't take an L and we're out the playoffs. All right, guys. At this point, it's been about. I think 11, uh, maybe 12 minutes now that we've been sitting on this loading screen. So I, don't, I think it's our best bet to go ahead and quit off and just hope that we don't take an L. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So we'll go ahead and load back in and just see what happens. All right, guys. Unfortunately, we did take the L. I'm not sure what happened. Y'all let me know if that's ever happened to you guys. But there's this team right there and there's our team. We are starting a brand new season. 
We're going to do what we got to do to win and get right back in the playoffs. Unfortunately, you know, you hate to see what, what happened to us, but it is what it is. We got to go ahead. You know, this, this is all about Jeffrey Simmons. Let's go ahead. Let's hop into defense and let's see what we can do with Jeffrey Simmons and let's see how he plays. All right, guys. We were able to go ahead and pretty easily drive down the field and score on him. Um, but Barry Sanders was able to fall four for nine. All right, next play here, second and inch. This is going to be another toss play. Can we get there? Yes, we can with Sam Mills. All right, third and three here. He's going to go play action on the play fake. He's got a man wide open. It's Lance. we got to make sure we just tackle him. Don't let him get in the end zone. Um, that's exactly what we do, but unfortunately, we gave a big time play there. 60 yards. That is not what we need, but he's going right back into the... I guess he saw that I was in, in cover three, and he split the safety right there up the gut. And there's Jeffrey coming through to make a tackle. Limits Bo Jackson to only a gain of one. That's what I want to see out of Jeffrey Simmons with that inside stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to cover two here in the red zone. I like cover two in the red zone. He's got Herbert here. Uh, and he's going to throw it out to Barry who goes nowhere. And Neus Williams, a great tackle. And he's going to go no huddle. Let's go, go ahead and go right back to cover uh, two. Make sure we are where we want to be. Sam Mills across the middle. I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. And nothing. All right. We're going to be able to get the stop there. He's still gained six, but it's going to be a fourth and goal situation here. I'm going to go ahead and be safe here. I'm, I'm going to use your Sam Mills and make sure he doesn't get anything here. Uh, you know, the smart thing is obviously to take his three. And that looks like, you know, the, it looks like what he's going to do, but he's not. And we're going to be able to make a play with Sam Mills. Get up, Sam. Oh, he was touched. I, I had a feeling he was about to fake it there, and we were able to read it perfectly with Sam Mills. Great job, Sam Mills. All right, guys. I am not even going to tell you guys what just happened, but great play by Harold there to get a stop. Uh, I might or might not have thrown two picks there, and one might have been a pick six. Uh, yeah, it is what it is, but hey, we are... Oh, Lance is wide open once again. I got to get out of this cover three, man. What am I doing? All right, guys, he's going to end up going for two here. Let's see if we can get a quick stop. Um, take away anything this backside of the end zone. And no way. Oh, my goodness. What a play by Lance, man. He's the MVP of the game so far. Wow. All right, guys, we turned the ball over once again. McNair just, I don't know, he's boxing me up. Not much, Nothing much I can do. Um, it's going to call timeout there. 13 seconds left on the clock. We got to go ahead and get a stop here. I can't believe he was able to go ahead and get that two point conversion. Because, you know, I mean, that was a tough play. Um, Lance is not even open. Take away everything. Come on, make a play on the ball. And he caught that. Unbelievable. What am I supposed to do? I mean, he's just throwing up everything. He's catching everything. I can't do the same. It's really, really frustrating. But hopefully, we're able to box this up. It's going to be a run play. And that's going to be. Oh, Javon Curse there with one second to go. I was hoping that last tick would go on through. Probably going to kick his three here, and that's exactly what he's going to do. I'm going to come out in normal defense, you know, just in case. He's been he's been faking a couple. Don't think he's going to fake this one, and he's not. It's going to be 17-7 to seven at halftime. And he does get ball at half. Uh, that was unfortunate, but, uh, God, I'm with Hainsworth here. Oh, no. Across the middle. All right, he's going to take off with Herbert. And he fumbles the ball is what we needed. Aeneas Williams, can we get to the outside? Aeneas Williams, get to the outside. Get to the corner. We will take it. We'll record this offensive drive. We'll see if we can get something going on the ground. He's been boxing everything up. That's the play we needed. We're going to go ahead, feed the beast, Derrick Henry, Mr. DH2K, if you, if you want to call him that. Let's see what he can do here on the ground. Derrick finds a crease. He only gains two yards, though. All right, guys, we're going to try it one more time here. Going to the left, Derrick Henry gets a block. Derrick Henry breaks a tackle. Oh, my goodness, Derrick Henry. Dragon tacklers all the way down to the four. Let's go stretch again. Let's come out with a different formation. I'm actually going to punch this thing in. We'll see if we can go straight downhill. Actually, I like going to the outside, so we'll go back to the stretch. Let's see what's going on. Let's go, let's go left. Maybe we can get a couple blocks on the left side. There, Derrick Henry down to the three. All right, guys. Unfortunately, we got called for a false start. I was audible out of plays a little bit. Got too much, you know, and, and we were able to go offside there. But Derrick Henry gets boxed up. He rolls forward to the seven, but I, dude, I think we might have to pass the ball here. Let's see 
I think I want. Let's see what. Let's see what the suggestions say. Um, might go slants here. I, I want some sort of mesh concept play. Um, let's see if we can go ahead and find that. Let's go to. Let's go to concept. Let's go short. Uh, do we go option? No. Nah, let, let's go ahead. Medium. Let's go mesh. Come on, pick a play. Hurry. So some something like this. Let's see what we can do here out of the eye form. Uh, let's put Moss on a slant. Oh, we gotta get the snap off here. Uh, we couldn't get the snap off, but may maybe that gives us a little bit more room though. Go ahead and do, and we, we have a little more time to pick a play here too. Um, I like mesh with the corner route. See if Calico gets open on that uh, left side. He's been in man most of the time, so um, we'll, we'll Derrick Henry on that wheel. Um, I like everything. Let's see what we can get here. Uh, and he takes that corner right away. And maybe that's a pass interference. We just might have got bailed out. And we might get, a, you know, some more downs maybe. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yes. Oh, my goodness. That, that is big, guys. I threw an absolute terrible ball. But we will take it. We will definitely take it. I think it's time to punch this thing straight on through. Let's run behind the big boy Kevin Mawai there. And that's exactly what we do. Big hole opens up. We're able to get in for six. Unfortunately, we're still down. We gotta hit this to go ahead and, and you know cut the lead to three, make it a little bit of an. I forgot to turn my, off my notifications, but make it a little bit of a you know. All right, there we go. Greg Joseph able to knock it all through. We're gonna go ahead and cut the lead two three seventeen fourteen. A minute forty four left in the third. Let's go ahead and get a stop here. Let's get a big, big play like we just had. All right, guys, he's going to run this one up the gut. Oh, where are you at? I need, I need Jeffrey to come through on a couple of those. I think he's actually double-teaming me, so that's interesting. We're pinching every time, though, so let's see what we can do here. Does he run it again? Looks like it. And Jeffrey Simmons gets through there, makes him bounce to the left, and Sam Mills is able to come up and finish him off. Third and five, you would expect him to pass the ball here. Uh, no doubt about it. Yeah, definitely you think he passed the ball here. Just got to go ahead and look to take away the middle with Sam Mills. Oh, no, and I went ahead and did that stupid animation, but he dumps it off to Barry, who's absolutely stuffed by Jadavion Clowney, and that's big because he's probably going to go for it on this fourth and two. He comes out in punt formation. Now, oh, God, I, you know, fake punts. I think if we just go, uh, you know, punt safe man here. No, I'm going to come out in normal D. Got to come out in normal D, right? I just can't trust it. I'll bring back Vaccaro, uh, our user of Vaccaro, or actually our user Kevin Byard. But you know he's got to punt the ball. There's no way he fakes this, unless he calls timeout and then goes for it. That would be a more realistic thing to do. And he's going to call timeout. See, I, there there was no way he's punting that ball, especially when he's running fake. He ran a fake extra point earlier. He ran a fake field goal. Y'all saw you with the Sam Mills. He's going to go for it. Obviously, there was no way he's punting that ball. Tampa 2, let's stay in it. Let's go ahead and let's get a stop here. We're going to go hard flats, take away anything we see on the edges. There's no way he runs this right. He isn't. And he's mid-zone KO. Kevin Byard comes to make the play. Big stop. We're in field goal range. Let's feed the tank himself. Derek, we got to get something going here. Let's flip to the left. Let's get Cook going to the left. Let's snap that ball. Let's get some blocks up front. Derek runs over. I don't know who that is, Dion or someone like that. Uh, second and eight, we're gonna run it again. Let's see if we can get this play call right off before the third quarter ends, and we do just that. And Derrick Henry gets to the 29. All right, guys, I ran this play earlier. On our first drive, we looked absolutely amazing. I was just slicing up his man. He had to cover one hole. We went, we went uh, run play one time, got a lot. We went screen, then we went crossers and scored a touchdown, three plays. But let's see what Barry can do here on the screen. Eddie Jackson gets through. We got to hit a block up there, O-line. I think I'm going to have to take my three. There's no way I, I can go for it here. And we're not in field goal range. There's no way Greg Joseph can't make this, right? This is why we need a kicker, and I really am tempted. I, I'm going to see what it looks like, and I think I'm going to take a delay game. I definitely don't want to waste the time out on this. I'm going to go ahead and see if we can go ahead and make this. Oh, yeah, we can make this. Let's go ahead and just hit this one on through. Come on, Greg. Oh, that might be the little to the left, but I think we have just enough footing, and we do. Greg Joseph from 49 yards out, 17-17. Let's go ahead and let's get a stop, guys. We're going to come back in the Tampa 2. 
It's been giving him troubles. Let's see if Jeffrey Simmons can go ahead and get through there. It's probably going to be a run it is. Sam Mills is not able to get through there, but Clowney is able to make the tackle. Limits him to a gain of three, second and seven. We're going to keep pinching. I'm actually going to pinch our linebackers too, so he's forced to go outside. I like that a lot. And we're able to box that up. Only, you know, only a three-yard gain there, third and four. I'm fine with this. Now, I think we can go ahead and box him up when we can take it. We can limit that yardage down to like a gain of two. He's going to run it once again. And I hit the wrong hole with Sam Mills. And Barry takes off all the way to the 46. I just got to hit my hole. I got I can't worry about Jayon Brown's hole. We, we got to let him fit that himself. Sam Mills says we got to go right through that B gap right there. There we go. That's exactly what we got to do. That's exactly what we got to do. Uh, Jayon Brown's going to hit his hole. We'll hit ours. And we'll do just that second and ten. No gain on that play. We got to take away everything. I think he might pass this ball here. I know how to stop his run. If he runs it again, and he's going to come out shotgun, and that's going to be a two-minute warning. So, 17-17. This is a thriller, guys. Barry in the backfield. He's in shotgun. I don't want to go. He's going to run play action. Cross the middle. Cross the backside top. Let's go ahead and see. And he's got the delay fade to Cooley. Oh, my God. He runs a delay fade, and it's there. Man, that play is so good, guys. I might just go ahead and man up Clowney on... Oh, no. Are we in the zone? Of, okay, we're in the zone over there, so we're fine. He's going to run the ball here, and Jayon's going to get the tackle. We're going to have to call timeouts, guys. We've got to play like we're down right now because he can definitely go ahead and kick his three and go ahead. We're going to go ahead and man up with Cooley there with, the you know, Jadavion Clowney. It's going to be another run play, and he's going to get it, and that's big. That might have been game. Golly, I want to win so bad. I just want to win. That one's tough. Let's go ahead and man up Cooley again. It's going to be another run play. Jeffrey, block sheds right there was pretty nice. But if he goes ahead and, and gets another first down, obviously it's game over. Uh, but if we can stop him one more time, we'll have around 10 seconds left if he does miss the field goal. Um, Clowney able to make a stop there. 40 seconds and ticking. I think I'm going to let this one tick down and take a timeout after this play. Let's go ahead and man up there. Let's go ahead and go down, drop safeties. If he runs it again, I'll be there with Sam. And it's going to be a short. All right, all right, guys. This might get interesting. I think he might be a gambling man to go for it. He's not. We're going to have 19 seconds on the clock, though. That is a big stop there. I'm still... I think we got to play for the block. There's no way he fakes this, fakes this kick. There is absolutely no way. We've got to make sure we don't rough him. Uh, but we'll take a block if we can, and he goes ahead and knocks it on through and takes a 20-17 to 17 lead. 16 seconds left. We do get the ball back, uh, but, I mean, I haven't been able to do nothing against him. We'll come out in the five wide. I, I, nothing has been able. He's got one step ahead to everywhere. I can't do anything. We have no timeouts. We can't catch us in bounds or it's game over. <sighs> I just don't know what to do. We'll look for Barry. He's got step aheads everywhere. Let's see if we can get that to the sideline. And we got to get to the sideline. And that might be game. That's going to cost us. And it is. Wow. Andre Johnson can't get to the sideline. That's He had just like five one step aheads. I couldn't do anything against man. Um, he was running man the whole game with two middle zones there. I ran crossers that first drive. And it worked very well. He had, you know, he made subs. He subbed in. You know, my primary targets on offense, Randy Moss, Calico, all those guys. He put one step ahead on him, and he just absolutely clamped us up. Nothing we were able to do except run the ball there late. And obviously, with 16 seconds left, we can't run the ball. Man, I just wanted to win that one so bad. Um, 20 to 17, we go ahead and lose it. But hey, Jeffrey Simmons didn't look that bad. With he did have inside stuff though. Um, but the guy ran the ball a lot. Uh, and Jeffrey Simmons was able to, you know, get some block sheds there, uh, you know, during the game, throughout the game, late in the game, uh, and, you know, was able to flush out, you know, Barry Sanders, you know, make him run to the outside. He wasn't running inside. Um, <clears throat> but I would just like to see Jeffrey make a tackle a couple times. Obviously, he did his job, block shedded, forced him to the outside, and we were able to, you know, uh, finish off the play with Sam Mills and um, Jayon Brown. But I'd love to see Jeffrey Simmons go ahead and make the block shed and get the tackle because um, – when you, inside stuff, you, you, you see a lot of guys where they just block shed and watch the running back go on through. Um, and that's what we saw with Jeffrey Simmons here. I'd like to see him get a couple of tackles. I think I'm going to I'm gonna keep inside stuff on him. I had it on Hainsworth. I think it was more, 
you know, I think it was a little bit better with Hainsworth. Just because he's in the middle of the field. We might throw it back on Hainsworth, but hey, Jeffrey Simmons did not look bad at all. Unfortunately, we, we, you know, we got screwed out of a wild card game, and unfortunately, um, you know, we, 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 we were beaten. We, we got beaten today, 20 to 17, lost by three. Um, I felt like we played okay. Turned the ball over way too much. Um, Randy Moss had no catches. Steve McNary, I mean, you, you guys know how much I love to go to Moss, and he had zero catches. We had to run the ball a lot. We ran a couple screen plays. Kyle and Calico got loose one time on a you know a crossing pattern, but Steve McNair had three turnovers. I think he had I think he had two picks. He would have had three picks if that one counted in the end zone. We kind of got bailed out there, but hey, defense played pretty good. We forced a couple turnovers, I think. Um, maybe just one that that fumble on Herbert, but. Solid uh, solid day by the defense. Offense got to look a little bit better, but one step ahead is tough to beat. Um, but, hey, it is what it is. Uh, that is going to do it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Go ahead and leave a like, drop a sub. Um, and, yeah, till next time, I'll see y'all.